Um, I said, is it you, Belial? I was just picking names that I'd heard that related to demons. And I was in a quite a confused state, so I perhaps wasn't thinking that straight. Um, but I said, is it you, Belial? And I got this vision of a toad, a gigantic toad, quite beautiful in its way, made entirely out of diamonds, which on its brow had a ring of seven eyes. And it had a very aloof expression on its face. Um, and I thought, yeah, this is probably Belial, but this is not what I'm talking to. The whole vibe of the thing was different. This is something inscrutable that wouldn't be as kind of warm and friendly as the thing that I'm talking to. So no, it's not Belial. So Belial is a, is a demon? Is a demon. It, it doesn't look like that in anybody else's account of it, but that is what I saw. So I next hesit, um, I gave a guess. Uh, I said, still on the, the letter B, I said, is it you, Beelzebub? Which is a name that anybody could remember uh, in terms of demons and devils. It's a name well, for the devil, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's one of the names of the devil. So, Beelzebub, is it you? Uh, at that point, I saw um, an infinite wall made of pink, grey hog flesh with white bristles jutting from it at intervals. It was impossible to judge the scale of this thing, but it looked immense. And the wall was studded all over it from end to end, from top to bottom, with these glaring, hate-filled eyes. It was horrific. It was the most horrific thing that I've ever seen, a wall of eyes, and they were all glaring in absolute bestial hatred. And I thought, right, this is not what I'm talking to either. This is something much too big and forceful. So perhaps I'm, I'm on the wrong track with the letter B. Um, so it was showing you pictures? It was pictures, images. In my, I've got my eyes closed at this point. And it was showing you pictures of the devils and things? Of these things forms. Um, and I was come, somehow sensing, no, this is not the right mood for the thing that I'm talking to. So I decided to try the letter A. And I said, is it you, asthma day? And this voice said, yes. And I reported this to Melinda. I said, it says its name is Asma Day. And she said, is that an actual demon's name? And I said, look, at the moment, I'm a victim of you. I don't know whether I've just made it up or whether I, you know, um, got it from somewhere else. And then after a while, I thought, yes, yes, it actually, it's more commonly known as Asmodeus. It's the same root name, it's the same demon, but just with the Roman name for it, where they like to have an us on the end of everything, was Asmodeus. So I thought, oh, well, well, I've got an introduction, I've guessed his name. I said, would it be possible to see what you look like? And at that point, I got this spectacular vision. If you could imagine, imagine if you will, that 360 degrees around your head, there is a moving lace work made up of spiders. Um, luminous, beautifully coloured spiders that are turning themselves inside out through a dimension that we don't have. They're turning themselves inside out and becoming a beautiful lace work of lizards. Then back to the spiders again. And somehow in all of this, there is a fan of beautiful peacock tail feathers. Um, it was exquisite, a bit creepy, a um, bit hellish, yeah. um, and but beautiful in its way, jeweled and beautiful. And I kind of got the impression that, well, actually, these things don't look like anything. They're, they're just ideas. So, in a sense, what we perceive them as, it's like we're dressing them up from the wardrobe of our mind. Their, their bodies are like suits of clothes that we put on them. So 
so that we can see them. Um, but uh, I spent an enjoyable half an hour, I don't know how long it was, in conversation with this um, entity until it all sort of drifted away. Um, the ritual concluded. And um, the next day I checked it all out. I mean, one of the things that I'd said during my conversation with this entity was that it seemed to be, it was a bit of a show off. Um, it was beautifully artistic. And it was also very, very good at mathematics. That it had got um, one more dimension at least than the three that we are used to. And it seemed to be enjoying showing off that fact. And the next day, when I actually, I thought, all right, I'm going to check out Asmodeus. Um, I'm going to look at the literature. Because I wasn't that familiar with the name. And um, I found out that um, he is a demon that is associated with mathematics. Right. And also with handicraft. Uh, which was exactly the impression that I'd got of him. I also found out that he is one of the few demons that you have to ask his name before he will talk to you. This is according to the Key of Solomon, allegedly written by King Solomon himself thousands of years ago, although he probably didn't exist. But sort of, it was quite eerie. Yeah, more than a little, uh, yeah. Head battering is what it is. Uh, uh, do you know what? I, I want to thank you for joining us on the show. Uh, Alan Moore, it's not going to be the last time we talk to you. Uh, thanks for being on, man. Hey, my pleasure, Nick. It's been, it's been a pleasure to, to be on the show. It's Kerrang! It's the night before. Kerrang <laughs> Radio.